Okay, here in the state of Florida, there seems to be a lot of questions surrounding insurance and those who are not insured that yes are driving. What happens if you're in an accident with one such person? Well, to answer that and help us learn about this tricky topic, Catherine Stone from Injury Florida Law Hi. Firm. How are you? Good. How are you? I am well. And, and Catherine Rufus, I know so many times that when you're on the show, we talk workers' compensation. You are, you know, in essence, a boutique law firm, and you are also able to handle other things. Right. So our office also handles handles, auto accident claims, slip and fall injuries, dog bites, as well as social security disability applications that have been denied. So um, although uh, the bulk of our business is workers' compensation, we do handle a fair amount of other areas as well because oftentimes they converge and sometimes we'll have a client that has all, all three types of cases. And there you go, you're able to get it all done. But this one in particular, I feel like there's so many questions around driving uninsured. And if you get hit by an uninsured person, what happens, Catherine? So unfortunately, it does happen. In fact, this week alone, I had uh, confirmation that one of my clients was hit by an uninsured driver. Well, actually, they had the, pro the required property damage that's required by the state of Florida. Okay. Um, so the, her vehicle is getting fixed but the person did not have bodily injury coverage. And in the state of Florida, that is technically not required that you have that. The only two requirements are property damage and personal injury protection, which is PIP insurance, mm -hmm. which covers you, yes. your for, uh, medical treatment up to $10,000. So unfortunately, we have to have a conversation with this client explaining that for her bodily injuries or her, the, you know, the medical bills and things like that, there is no insurance by the other, by the at fault driver. And so the first thing we have to do is then look back to our client's insurance and see whether or not she has uninsured or underinsured motorist mm -hmm. coverage. Mm -hmm. Again, not required on most policy, uh, is not required at all. And you would believe it or not, most people don't have that coverage. Um, it is an extra line item expense mm -hmm. on the insurance bill. Times are tough, we get it. But understand that if you don't have that coverage, there's very little we can do. Hmm. Um, now, the state of Florida may end up reaching out to the person who's caused the accident who did not have bodily injury coverage and uh, potentially trying to suspend their license or force them to get a certain type of insurance because they they were, uh, were involved or caused an accident really? with bodily injury. But as far as compensation, you know, from that individual, yeah. um, I often get asked the question, well, can't you just sue that person? Well, oftentimes you're if that person didn't have bodily injury coverage, they're probably not gonna be in a financial situation that we can get anything from them um, to begin with. You know, I wanna ask this question, but I know you obviously don't know, but it is interesting to hear. And is that why Florida, you know, we have the reputation of, you know, the uninsured, you know, motorists that are on the road because it's not, it's not essential, it's not legally that you have to carry that insurance to protect the other person if they're injured. Is that why we kind of have so this murkiness? We get a lot of flack here in the state of Florida because yeah. we have the PIP insurance. We have that personal injury protection and we don't require bodily injury. Whereas other states, they may not require PIP insurance, but they require bodily injury yeah. insurance. And so um, there's two different ways of looking at it. And yeah. I'm, I'm not smart enough to, <laughs> to figure out which way is the better right. side. All I know is what we deal with here in yeah. the state of Florida. And there are unfortunately a lot of uninsured drivers. I would probably say out of the cases that come through my door, one to two out of five, the other driver doesn't have, in, doesn't have either, it has no insurance. That's what I was gonna ask. Has no insurance or they don't have the bodily injury. The bodily injury. Interesting. Well, you know, again, like you said, you might not be able to create the laws, but you know the laws and you'll be able to look out for your clients. And that's exactly what Injury Florida Law Firm does. If you want more information or find yourself in any of these situations like Catherine discussed, injuryfloridalawfirm.com is where you can go or call the number you see on your screen.